Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about chips. Chips allow users to make selections, trigger actions, enter information, etc. Unlike buttons, which should be a consistent call to action, chips should appear dynamically as a group of multiple interactive elements. When you're designing a chip, make sure to pay attention to the following things. Number one, states. Just like buttons and sliders, you need to design all states of your chips, such as enable, disable, tapped, hover, etc. Number two, relevancy. Chips should have a helpful relationship with the content or task they represent. And the last one, compactness. Chips are compact elements that represent distinct information. If you look at the picture on the right side, you can see that we have different chips. Some of them have icons or even an image. On the other hand, some of them only have a text. So make sure to use them in your UI design carefully.